guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing monster mouth. If you want to see how to achieve this look, make sure you stay tuned. As you can see, our foundation and brows are already done. If you want to see the products I use, make sure you just look in the description box below. We're going to start right with the mouth and the outlining. We're going to use our Wolf Face Art and FX Body Paints. And we're going to start mapping that out with a little fine brush and we're going to be using red. Totally okay if it gets a little messy. Just clean it up with a little bit of water, a wipe, or you can even do some concealer, but concealer is a little bit tougher. Here we are just going back in and filling in that red outline with some red body paint. When I drew these lines, I wanted to make sure it looked like I had some ripped flesh around the edges or whatnot. So make sure these aren't like super nice lines or anything that you want it to look really um, fine towards the ends and whatnot. Here I am just going in with a smaller brush, I think it's actually a lip brush, and putting on the teeth. Um, no rhyme or reason to the teeth, I wish I tried to make them a little more realistic, but hey, live and learn. Um, but here we are just mapping them out little by little, top and bottom, making sure they're symmetrical and all that jazz. Here I am just going back in and filling in that red around the teeth. Um, I did it with a, a small lip brush again just to make sure I can do all those fine lines around the teeth because we're going to darken everything up but you need that red base to make sure you get the same dark shade that we're going to use on all the flesh. We need to have the same colors all the way around so yeah just take your time go slow around the teeth so you don't mess them up. I chose the Morphe 350M palette just because the browns in here was such a great shade and so were the reds if I needed them. Um, what I'm doing is darkening up some of this red with some of the, the brown shades but I'm using a little bit of a warm toned one but I'm just going in and deepening them up a little bit and when I go around the teeth I'm going to deepen the edges of it um, just to make them a little darker and give it some depth around the edges to make the, the blood and skin that's in there deepen but it makes my flesh around the outside pop a little bit more so it kind of gives it depth and dimension if that makes sense just make sure you go between each tooth you need to deepen those a little bit because there's definitely no light between them um, and get the edges really well as well but I also between the teeth I go up a little bit just to show the grooves and the gums If you are not familiar with NYX Primal Color Eyeshadows, get familiar with them. 
they are great. I'm using these just around the edges of my wounds just to show the irritation that they have. I'm going with this shadow and then later on to help deepen it or make it more of an irritated red, I add some body paint to it and I blend it out just a smidge. But we've got to show some irritation around these wounds and like my skin has been ripped or scratched or it's been eaten away. Um, so yeah, we're going to go around and add some irritation to this flesh bring it to life. Here's where you can see I'm adding a few dots of the body paint and then I'm taking that brush and just blending it out. But it does give that the irritation a little bit more pop, which is exactly what we needed. If it gets blended out too far, I would just take a um, concealer brush I already have with concealer on it and I would just dab over it just to make some of that blending dissipate. Another NYX primal color and black and we're just going around those edges of our wounds and deepening them deepening them further and then we're going to blend this all in to make it a little bit darker gotta make this look as realistic as we can guys it's all about the contouring so if we're just not doing our deep bones we're doing wounds deepen highlight deepen highlight blend 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 you know the drill Even dabbing a little bit of black in there. Why not? Let's deepen it some more. Let's get this irritation real irritated. Why not? Here I am going back in with those water-based paints. I'm just adding a few details around the teeth. Just so you can see that their teeth and where the gums would lie. And all that in the inside of the mouth. And then we're going to add some little marks in our wounds. To make it look as if they were wet or if they were bleeding and such like that. You'll see as that go. Here is where I started to do the edges of our wounds between where the depth of the wound was and the irritation just to give some highlight points so you could see where the highest point of the skin would be because if we had an open wound, those edges would be sticking out farthest away from everything. So it would be the highest point where the lights would hit it and then we'd be able to differentiate everything. So I'm just going through and highlighting a few spots that I thought would need it.
Here is the finished look for you guys. I know I didn't show you how to do the eyes, so all we did was use the NYX Primal Eyeshadow that I showed you in the video, and I put on some Foxy Babe lashes. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from it. I had so much fun with this look. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and share it with a friend. See you soon.